Hello everyone. Welcome back to Robo Omni. Earlier, we made a project on the automatic cloth drying stand where we used Arduino to pull the drying stand back whenever it rained. That project got an amazing response from all of you. Thank you so much for your love and support now. Now in today's video, we are back with another rain-based project, but this time it's all about saving rainwater. We'll make a rainwater safe system that automatically opens a container or lead using a servo motor as soon as it rains is detected. And yes, this time we will upload the code using a laptop and Arduino IDE. So let's get started. Here's what we'll need for this project. Arduino Uno that is a main controller board, rain sensor module to detect rainfall, servo motor to open and close water container lead, small breadboard to make all connection neat and easy, male to male and male to female jumper wires, USB cables to connect Arduino with laptop for uploading code, power supply using 9 volt battery or double lithium battery holder with DC jack. Step 1. Breadboard Setup Place the Arduino Uno and small breadboard side by side. We will use the breadboard to connect power and signal lines easily. Connect the 5 volt frame from Arduino to the plus red rail of the breadboard. Connect GND from Arduino to the blue rail of the breadboard. Now all components can take power from these rails. Step 2. Connecting the rain sensor the rain sensor module has four pins, VCC, GND, D0 and E0. Let's connect it. Take jumper wires and connect VCC of the sensor to the positive rail on the breadboard. Connect the GND of the sensor to the negative rail on the breadboard. Connect A0 of the sensor to A0 pin on Arduino Uno. This will send analog rain readings to Arduino. Step 3. Connecting the servo motor. The servo motor has three wires. Brown that is for GND, red for VCC and orange that is for signal. Make the connection using the breadboard. Connect red VCC wire to the positive rail of the breadboard. Connect brown GND wire to the negative rail of the breadboard. Connect orange signal wire to digital pin 8 on Arduino. Now both the rain sensor and servo are powered from the breadboard neat and easy. Step 4. Uploading the code from laptop. Now comes the exciting part. Uploading the code using Arduino IDE on your laptop. Download the project.ino code file from the link given in the video description. Open Arduino IDE. Go to file. Open and select downloaded code file. Connect the Arduino Uno to your laptop using the USB cable. Go to Tool, select Board and Arduino Uno. Go to Tool, select Port that shows your Arduino connection. Now click the Upload button. The code will compile and upload into the Arduino. After a few seconds, you will see Done Uploading and your Arduino is programmed successfully. Now step 5. Mounting and Testing Mount your setup on a small cardboard house or model. Stick the rain sensor on the roof so it can sense raindrop. Attach the servo motor to the container lead or flap that will open to store water. Now power the project using 9 volt battery or through DC jack. When there is no rain, sensor is dry and the servo keeps the lead closed. When it starts raining, the rain sensor detects water. Arduino sends a signal to the servo which opens the lead to collect rainwater. Once the rain stops and the sensor dries, the servo closes the lead, again automatically. And that's how your rainwater safe system works clean, efficient and smart. If you like this project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to RoboArm for more awesome Arduino and Robotics tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And until then, keep learning and keep innovating with RoboArm. RoboArm, one-stop global community for teens in robotics and AI.